Hello, welcome to my little channel. It's called The Sword Rules. And today I'm out in the garage again to work on part three of accessories for our 2022 Ford Bronco, which you can't see right now because it's behind all of my flags. Um, First of all, I want to apologize for the garage. My garage is a complete mess right now. I'm uh, really kind of in the middle of a few projects. Um, I'm moving some stuff to different places in the garage. I have carburetors to rebuild on my two Honda generators. Stuff sitting around because I'm gathering up all these tools here um, to put for sale on Marketplace. I am currently going through a tool, power tool replacement project that I'm spreading out over my birthday and Christmas. So I'm not actually going to do that whole video until uh, after Christmas because I'm hoping that some more of those awesome Milwaukee power tools, you know, come in on Santa's sleigh. You never know, right? You never know. But I am going to have all of my Craftsman uh, power tools and batteries uh, for sale soon on Marketplace and all of my old air tools that I really haven't used in years years they're all very old they're all 20 years old uh, and back then air was air was the thing right air was the most powerful uh, but batteries have come a long way in 20 years that's that's for sure um, yeah just hanging out here I got the the heater on in the garage you can hear the fan running in the background sorry about that I was watching a little motor trend on the TV but uh, due to copyright laws, I have turned that off for the time being. I am going to be installing a couple of accessories on our Bronco today. I don't even know that you can really use the term install because uh, really just a drop in. So, uh, but what I do have is I found this pretty cool. Uh, larger console um, coin tray phone holder whatever whatever you want to call it uh, the one that comes with the Bronco uh, if you have a Bronco then you already know it's it's super small it's probably only about this wide and uh, really doesn't hold too much most of your stuff ends up down below in a big pile so I thought I'd give that a try. It was like $9 off of uh, Amazon. And also these cool little things that I'll show you in a little bit. They're kind of hard to explain right now, but I'm going to remove the, the 3M tape liner on those and install those too. Out here in the garage again with our 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Track. Uh, I just really enjoy driving this, this truck. Um, for those of you that didn't know, we ordered this about, it's going on 18 months ago now. Uh, we just got it about two weeks ago. Uh, back then we did order it for my wife it was going to be her car she really really wanted to drive this um, in the last year and a half she kind of lost interest uh, over it and um, had a Jeep Wrangler in the meantime uh, that turned out to be too loud and cold and uh, so we ended up trading the Wrangler in on this um, <clears throat> also in the meantime I had acquired a, a Grand Cherokee a 2015 Grand Cherokee Summit uh, in really 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 nice shape um, kind of lucked upon that one uh, she started driving that and that was pretty much the last I've seen of that car 
so uh, I do have a couple other videos this is going to be part three or as Derek on Vice Grip Garage would say part three of uh, accessories bolt-on accessories that I'm putting on this Bronco all right let's get started instead of setting up my big LED work lights I just decided to take the take the two tops off that gave us lots of light inside of there that worked out pretty good so I will warn you don't blink or you might miss this install what we have is this center console and this is the stock um, little slider box that Ford sends along from the factory and and that's the rest of it rest of the console not gonna fit a whole lot in here uh, it's not very useful this stuff kind of slides around in here and vibrates I happen to have a Ford Blue Advantage pen in there right now that's kind of cool so this comes out just like that and then I have the new one and the new one is supposed to just drop right in here like like so yeah. that's a nice fit we've got a couple of little rubber inlays in here that will help keep the the noise down from the the stuff that's jiggling around in here there's another one on this side that you can pull out so you can get them nice and clean if you want to and a little coin holder here it's pretty easy to pull out and get at your stuff in the bottom and look at that I've already got an item to set in there there's a little hole right here so that if you want to run an iPad or you want to have your phone in here for charging you could run a power cord up from your 12 volt outlet right there you could run your power cord up and through this device through this uh, shelf here to plug your device in um, we ordered the contact charging uh, down that sits down there so when I get in I just go ahead and set my phone down there right away and it charges up while it's using CarPlay and yeah that's about it so this thing will go in the pile of stock parts that's that I'm putting together to keep and uh, someday send down the road with the vehicle there you have it done all right so what we have left is these little pieces of plastic here also got on Amazon um, very inexpensive and if I can remember I will put the links down below and uh, you can go buy them off of Amazon I'm not don't have an affiliate account or anything so they'll just be linked down there um, so what we have here is a little device that will um, attach below the door grab handle uh, my wife was seeing on some of our cars these are big enough to you can just slip your cell phone or she can put her cell phone in there uh, while we're going down the road but you can't on this it falls out the bottom but that's where these come in these fit underneath here let me see if I can get you down here far enough I'm not quite fitting it in there right but that's where it's going to going to fit in after i peel the the 3m tape off it doesn't look like it's going to be a real exact fit but it looks pretty close um so all i've got to do is peel these covers off of the uh i'm thinking it's 3m double-sided but it looks like from my test fit that i'm going to have to fit it back as far as i can in there and and get it to touch up on this side first uh, in order to get a, a good fit all the way back easy install and uh, and have it be you know pretty useful too so yeah 
There, we're done. That's not a bad fit, actually. That really fits nice. Got an even seam all the way along it. This transition here is, is fine. It might be a little hard if I get some dirt or mud up in that little crevice, try and get it out, but that's fine. So, yeah. So now it's going to be pretty handy to kind of hold things like that. And uh, I don't have a cell phone on me, so I don't have anything that I can stick down in there. I got my wallet. Let me try to fit my wallet in there. Maybe one of my viewers will recognize this wallet from... A-I-U-W-O, uh, also on Amazon. Very handy. Bring your card out to you. Still working really good, Tim. Anyway, yeah, like that. Holds your stuff in place. I think that's about it for today. Pretty easy stuff. Um, nice short video for part three of Ford Bronco accessories. Not really anything bolt-on today, for sure. But I'll go do this to the other side. It'll be done in two minutes. And then I can turn Motor Trend back on on the TV and not worry about any copyright problems. So, All right, well, thanks for coming along today. I uh, appreciate it. Hit the like button if you, uh, if you like these kind of videos, the, the stuff where I'm doing a little mod or a little bolt-on accessory, uh, that'll tell me that I should keep doing it, keep doing it on this and or my BMW. Um, subscribe if you want, I don't care. And uh, you guys have, uh, guys and gals have a good rest of your day.